And good evening. Welcome back to Tales from Monkey Island. Um, oh, well, that's disappointing. So, <laughs> I already beat this part last time. Should be pretty easy to beat it again. Uh, so, where we are here is we've been boarded by Morgan LaFlay, who is a pirate hunter. She's trying to, you know, kill me, as, as one does want to do. Um, so, it's fairly straightforward to be able to... Uh, Bet that line could hold my weight, but it's about an inch out of reach. That's right, there's a hook right there that I need. I can't reach it from here. I know. Alright, fine. All right, so she's trying to capture me because she's been hired by Doctor Desange or Doctor Desange, depending upon who you talk to. That's the mast of my ship, the screaming narwhal. And I know what a mast is. How do I get back down there? I can't it's remember a how. Mess in there. I'll clean it later. It's a mess in there. Never mind. Man, this is disappointing. I guess I should have explicitly saved last time before coming in and before uh, closing up the game. That's the mast. Yes, you mentioned that. That's I'll just the mast. Annoy the piss out of her. Hey, shut up about the mast. That's the mast. I'm trying to remember how I got down there before. I still can't quite reach it. I can't reach it from here. I'm trying to remember how... Maybe I should just go back and watch my Twitch video from last stream. I did this to remember how I got down there. I can't reach it from here. I know you can't. put that barrel up there to keep it I can't reach it but even so it... oh my goodness I'm just gonna spend a half hour trying to figure out how to get back down there how did you get on my ship I All simply right. grappled aboard while you were busy staring out at the sunset you aren't very observant either. Oh, okay, that's how I By get back the down way, there. my grapple hook got stuck, so you owe me a new one. Alright, I can't reach it from here. Hey, where's... He's fine. I've just got to... Don't worry about... We're just going to fast forward through this. That's right, you, you transition to each stage. You climbed onto my ship with this? Where's the rope part? Well, obviously I kept the rope. You wouldn't believe the number of situations a length of... Yeah, well, I'm keeping the hook. All right. And then we go... Are you... Not a... Huh. You mean that's true? I... So I go up. And then I get I back... I still can't quite reach it. Kill me, man. Do everything around here. And catch me now. Bet you didn't see that move coming. <clears throat> okay. Yikes. Hey All right. Was that supposed to hurt me somehow? Maybe. Did it work? No. Dang. What? I'm a mercenary. It's. 
Alright, so now I just need to talk my way back up to the top. Can't we not gonna Hey, shoot, get away. All right. And back off. Now. Back up top. We're going to kick the wheel back so that way the fish barrel will go to the other side. That'll get her position on the flank. And then I'll make cause the seagull to fly up oh, there man. and it'll flip her off the ship and then we'll back to where we left bad. off last time. Enemy up with your breath, I'm sure that. All right, and now talk to her again. Behind you. Uh, no thanks, I've already. Oh, that's all right. Now a yell of the seagull, and then she gets flipped off the ship. Hmm, get out of here. Come on, shoot. Sorry, Morgan. I hate to do this to a fan, but you did cut off my hand. What? Uh oh. Ah! You are good, Guybrush Threefoot. Well, I hate to battle and run, but I've got to see a doctor about this hand. All these years, they still haven't fixed that typo on the captions. Here I come, Captain Threefoot. Where is the lass? A runner through and use her for fish bait. She's gone. And she took my hand. Quick, let's get after her. Let her go, Mr. Winslow. I've got to find Elaine. Last time I saw her, she was let's falling be Let's be honest. Like the, the, Look the like hook is an upgrade. Moment to Evil me. clutches. We're not going far with the mast in that shape. The cowardly cutthroat must have released the counterweight I set up to keep the mast balanced. Now it's cracked. It is? It is indeed. It may be just a hairline fracture, but I can tell. We'll have to take it easy until we can get her fixed. Very well, Mr. Winslow. We'll head for the Jerkbait Islands. Right. We can have our mast repaired there. Uh, sure. Also, that's the direction Elaine was headed. I'll steer while you navigate. I mounted the map outside your quarters for your convenience. Okay. The Merfolk weather vane looks good up there. Doesn't do anything useful, but it looks cool. Kaboom! I never get tired of that. Alrighty. Oh, there's a big crack in it. Aye, we're out to sea not one day and Morgan Le Flay breaks our ship. Yes. Cool. Yes, Morgan did it. Yep, yep, that's what we're going with. Prepare to set sail, Mr. Winslow. That's flotsam. Set sail for the Jerkbait Islands, Mr. Winslow. Yes, sir, Captain Threepwood. Are we there yet, Mr. Winslow? Hey, Captain! Spinner K, the main epicenter of the Jerkbait Islands. Really? Where is everybody? Hmm. It was. Uh, it was. Well, I actually didn't. If the city so, is still inhabited by Merfolk, I didn't actually have to uninstall or reinstall anything. Like Merfolk? just running all the updates <laughs> got me to where I needed to be. I appreciate well, uh, uh, the base right, hunter for you, you dropping First, that, that sure tip though in Twitter. Like it, if I had been up a particular creek without means of navigation, it would have been helpful to know that information. So thank you. Right, right. We need a plastic pair. Got it. <laughs> Mermaids. All right. Oh, see, now you saved the game. No fishing. There's a ramp. 
Is that a lane up there? It looks like a lane. Hi, sailor. Oh, uh, take it easy. A big, strong pirate like yourself afraid of a little old McKaylee like me? <sighs> Sorry about that. So, are you a mer... That's right. I am 100% proud Vakalian merfolk. Tail kind of gave it away, huh? So what brings you to Spinner K? Is it K or Key? I've always heard it... I, I feel like people have always corrected... I'm looking for my wife, Elaine. A key. She's the most beautiful pirate you've ever seen. With silky red hair and eyes as green as summer grog. Oh, that's so sweet. You know, I think I did see her. She and that other guy arrived about an hour before you did. You saw Elaine with some other guy? Who was he? Some big jerk? I could probably take him. You know, if I had to. But Elaine is usually okay, right? Yeah, I think so. She went right over to the royal chamber, and the guy set off into the jungles with an armful of monkeys. Royal chamber. Got it. I'll deal with the monkey smuggler later. Ever hear of a man named Dakava? I'm supposed to show him this locket. You mean crazy sponge guy? Yeah, I remember him. Last time I saw him, he was putting together a crew to go after some mystical sea urchin or something. Haven't seen him in a while, though. He used to have a little shelter out on Row Island. Oh. Cool raft. Yeah, another destination Can I write it? Do you have a pass? Uh, I do not. Well, I can't let you get by on your good looks alone. You're gonna have to get yourself a transit pass. Where can I get a transit pass? You may be able to get one from our chieftain, Beluga, and the royal chain. But it looks like there's some kind of dispute going on right now. Do you know where I can get my mask repaired? I sure do. There's a shop right inside our town. Just follow the cave path, and it'll take you right there. I gotta run. Uh, no offense. <laughs> None taken. All right. Give Let's me see about what this. I want, or we'll tear your whole town to pieces looking. You and your men shall not have the ancient summoning artifacts. Then maybe we'll move on to your innards and tear those to pieces looking, you overgrown tadpole. Please calm down. I'm sure we can find a solution that works for everyone. Elaine. Guybrush. Oh, Guybrush. Thank goodness you're all right. I've been worried sick about you. First the explosion, then that big cloud of voodoo pox you released from the chuck started infecting pirates all over the Caribbean. That was an accident. The sword was crooked. The spell was misspelled. The breathments had artificial ingredients. It wasn't my fault. I bet there was a conspiracy. Oh my god! Your hand! What hand? What exactly? What happened to your hand? And where is your wedding ring? Uh oh. Um. Well, it happened like this. Arr, I should gut you where you stand. Uh, I'd better get back there before they kill each other. Here, take my ring. Oh, no, that's the one I... Just take it. Trust me. And don't lose it, Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, come on. Who's absent-minded enough to lose two wedding rings? Arr, it's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Whitey Pirate. Shut up, you. Give me the summoning <laughs> artifacts. You shall never have. Let's forget about There's the artifacts. Hey, the artifacts this fishy looking guy still has one glass eye. Shoot. Why do I have this uncontrollable urge to poke at fish eyes? How about a compromise? Blind statue. You shall never have. So, what's everybody talking about? Arr, me and my men seem to have come down with a touch of the sickly pox. Ugh. And these half-breed halibuts know how to get a hold of a cure, but they won't give it up! We'll never give you the summoning items, Captain McGillicuddy. Not after the years of polluting our sacred waters. So we accidentally spilt a few barrels of spoiled grog over the years. Accidentally, my dorsal fin. Ah, oh, shut your blowhole! Gentlemen, please! I'm sure you and Chieftain Beluga can come to some kind of agreement. What's this about a cure? The Vakalians hold an ancient prophecy that tells of a mythical sea sponge with the power to soak up voodoo energy. La Esponja Grande. Yes. 
But to find the Sponja Grande, you must first summon the legendary sea creatures who can guide you to its location. Aye! And that's why we need the rest of those summoning items. My men have already recovered one of them. May as well just hand over the rest. You mentioned summoning artifacts. That sounds cool. Our prophecies speak of three golden artifacts that have been hidden throughout these islands. They are in the form of the ancient gods of the ocean, the wise turtle, noble seahorse, and the cranky fish. Cranky fish? Oh, the prophecies are very old. Some of the translations may be a bit off. When these artifacts are combined, and the ceremony of ritual words recited, the legendary sea creatures will rise from the ocean and lead you to the source of the cure. What are these legendary sea creatures? Though I have never seen them, the prophecies say they are a physical representation of the ocean gods on Earth, and that they will lead the way to the mouth and the sponge. Mouth? Enough of this! The only mouth you need to be concerned with is the one I'm gonna shove a hook through if I don't get no summoning artifacts! This guy's I'm a sure we can come up with a very unpleasant individual. Do you know the ceremonial ritual words by heart? I do. And as chieftain of the Vecalians, I am the only one that does. Maybe you could tell Captain McGillicutty some of the ritual words if he agrees to take only half the sponge. You'll be telling them all to me, or you'll be our chieftain catch of the day come supper! I thought you guys worshipped wind gods. Yes. Some of our people tried evolving and living on land ages ago, but they always come back to the sea. I noticed a cool rat down by the docks. How would I go about getting a ride on that? Ah, you wish to enjoy our state-of-the-art human transportation system. Here you go, honey. I already purchased a few all-day transit passes. Doing my part to support the economy, you know. All right. Thanks, Lenny Poop. <laughs> Not in front of company, dear. Oh, sorry. Lenny Poop. Have any of you ever heard of Coronado oh, de Cava? I was trying to look for him now. here and show him a locket. I do remember this man. He too was obsessed with finding La Esponja Grande. But I have not seen him around Spinner Cay for some time. Perhaps he gave up. Or died in the pursuit. It's rather severe. You gave him the summoning items. I swear, I'll gut every one of you. No one is gutting anyone. We can work this out peacefully. It's so sparkling on the uh, front there, like that thing there. Hey, honey, can I talk to you for a sec? Of course, dear. What is it? You wouldn't believe what I've had to go through to find you. A crazy homicidal French doctor? An island with winds that kept everybody from leaving. I even faced off against the infamous pirate hunter, Morgan Le Flay, and she, uh, he's just as vicious as people say. Oh, I wish I could have been there for that. So, have you been trying to find me, too? Of course, dear. That's why we came here. Well, that and the monkeys. Were you really worried about me? I mean, you did stop to chat with these fish people. Hi, Brush. We came here looking for you. If we had tried to leave, the ugly, diseased pirate over there was going to have us killed. I had to stay. You said you came here partly for the monkeys. What monkeys? You know what? All those poor monkeys the Chuck had cast a spell over on my ship. Well, we were able to gather them all up, and we're going to make sure they all get back to their proper habitat. Several of them are native to the Jerkbait Islands. Sounds like you spent more time rescuing monkeys than you did looking for me. I can do anything those monkeys can do. I've seen you scratch your behind in the morning. You're very talented. I guess that's all I have to I say. I do like the Elaine from back from the uh, you know Curse of Monkey Island days. She was a bit more sarcastic and biting in her wit. Well, this is really between you and the fish people. Hope you guys get things worked out. Nice chatting with you. Come on, Elaine, let's go. Bye, Brush. We can't leave. Why not? I've got a new ship and everything. These pirates are acting under the influence of the pox. And since we are the ones responsible for releasing said pox, this conflict is really all our fault. 
We're gonna stick around and clean up this mess. She really but is the better I can person of these two. Here, but you've got to get your hands. Uh, sorry. I mean, you've got to get a hold of those summoning artifacts. They are the key to everything. The Gillicutty's men have got one of them stashed somewhere. Before you turned up, I was about to go to Row Island to follow up on a lead, and I've got the chuck looking for the third one on Spoon Isle. The chuck? You let him go? You sent him on a mission? Yes, don't worry, dear. He's harmless. I'm sorry. I thought I just heard you describe LeChuck, fearsome, voodoo, ghostly, demonic, pure, evil, incarnate pirate LeChuck, as harmless. I wonder when I started hallucinating. Guybrush, he's different, and I don't have time to argue. He's going to need your help. Please, my swashbuckling sea stud. Yet. I'll be your best friend. No. -uh. Pretty please. Forget it. <laughs> I'll make it work your while. <sighs> Fine. So you'll be my personal pirate paladin and get those summoning items while I stall these guys? Okay. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, how about this? We each get one summoning item and go our separate ways. Arr, what's the point of that? I'll never let them have our sacred items. Well then, what do you two suggest? Give me the summoning artifacts. Mm, that water looks cold. Let me turn up the heat for you. Please don't touch that. We just got it fixed. This is fixed? For now. We are waiting for the proper parts to come in. Aye, and if you don't give us those artifacts, my men will make sure those parts never get here, forcing you to rule from lukewarm water. <laughs> give me the summoning artifacts. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The All artifacts right. are sacred. Oh. I will not let them Let's fall into the wrong hands. Go explore the rest of the island. Agree to disagree? This is pointless. How about a compromise? No, 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 don't go up there. There we go. Hi there. I understand you do ship repair here? You! I thought I told you to stay away from this place! Especially after that stunt you played at the Royal Aquarium! But I... Ha <laughs> I'm just messy with you, handsome! This me, Kanemoni! Wow, well, apparently I have, uh... Oh. uh you got me. Strong merfolk appeal. I swam! So, what did you say you needed? Oh, it's the person from down below. Huh. <laughs> I need my mast repair. Sure thing. You want a patch job or a full mast repair? Uh, it's just a crack. I guess a patch job will do. See, that's how they get you. A patch job is basically the same amount of work as a full replacement. But it's certain to go bad on you a lot faster. I give you a full mast replacement. I'll be right back. Hmm. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? There we go, all fixed. Your man, Mr. Winslow, took care of the bill. Nice guy, that Reggie. Does he have a cousin? So you sell bait and repair ships here. That's an odd pairing. Well, times are tough. Sometimes you gotta pick up an extra job or two just to earn enough sand dollars to live on. Oh, man. That's tough. You think that's bad? <laughs> this place used to be a bait shop and pizza joint. And I still couldn't sell any anchovies. Can I have some bait? Sure. How would you like to pay for it? I'll trade you a pyrite parrot. Sorry, we don't take those. Oh. We also don't accept personal checks, traveler's checks, credit, barter, foreign currency, or local currency. You don't even take local currency? What do you accept? Coupons. About those coupons? Ah, uh, do you have one? 
No, but can't you be a sweetheart and give me one anyway? What are you doing? Are you flirting? Um, I don't know. Look, it's real easy. <laughs> Just bring me a coupon and I'll give you some bank. Got it? Yep. Can I steal hey, your bucket? Can I have this bucket? Well, I like you. So, yeah, go ahead. What are you going to use it for? I don't know. So, why do you want to take it? Um, because it's there, I guess? You're a weird kid. <laughs> Cute, but weird. Alright, so... I think I've exhausted this island, so I probably should take the raft over to the other island where... I understood correctly... The guy's supposed to have... Oh, wait, there's more! But wait, there's more! Hello, sailor! Hello, squishy fish person! <laughs> Hello, pudgy human! My name is Tetra! Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood and... Pudgy? Have you come to our library to read up on the rich cultural history of the Vakalian race? No, actually, but I do have a few other questions. And I'm not pudgy. Tell me about Vakalian history. Well, did you know that centuries ago, we merfolk bypassed evolution and used Vakalian science to obtain legs on which to walk on land? Nope. I can safely say I did not know that. We used that same technology to reattach our tails when we returned to Mother Ocean. It's fascinating. Oh, yeah, fascinating. All this knowledge and more can be found right here in your local library. Support your local library. Ever hear of a guy named Dekava? I have a locket for him. Oh, yes. That guy used to be here at the library all the time, checking out books about sea sponges, aquatic mammals, and mythological treasures. Bit of a nut, if you ask me. Sea sponges, huh? When was the last time you saw him? Oh, it's been ages since he's been around. Good luck finding him. Thanks. You know, I would like a book from the library. I knew you would. What can I get for you? Let's go with the trashy How about romance a trashy novel. Trashy romance novel. I'll be right back. I know just the thing. The motion of the ocean. Ooh, sounds racy. An accurate record of the spinner K tide changes over the last 50 years. Oh. <laughs> you know, why don't you just hold on to this one for me? I'd like another book. Sure. What are you looking for? How about something historical, ripe with political intrigue? Sure. Oh, I know a great one you might like. I'll be right back. Here you go. A City of Two Tales, an in-depth analysis of the rationale concerning the decision to leave the ocean and the inevitable return. I, uh, think I've read this one before. Thanks, anyway. All right, Can you get one me last book? option for of the course. books. Of course. Looking for anything in particular? Let's see what this gets me. Maybe some light-hearted fiction. Perfect. I'll get you one of my favorites. Enjoy. The Old Man and the Seagull. It's about an old man who describes everything he sees in detail to a blind seagull while lost at sea. Oh, sounds exciting. I think I'll wait for the movie. You know, I... I knew you would. Okay, no Actually, more books. Actually, I've changed my mind already. I don't feel like reading. What's the deal with this building? This is our library and cultural archives. It houses centuries worth of information about the evolution of the Vakalian people. It's also a protected national landmark, so it'll be here forever. But it's underwater. <laughs> well, of course. We sunk it. Why? The library was built during the age of terra firma, but when we as a race returned to the sea, we felt our knowledge should do the same. Doesn't that make your books all soggy? Hmm, sure does. Ah, uh, okay. All right, well, goodbye. That's enough book learning for now. Go get him. I wager that I'm going to find a reference to a book somewhere Protected that I want. Protected historical landmark. So I'm no part come of this back standing this. structure shall be defaced or removed at any time, as decreed by come Chieftain Come back to the library to get that book once I discover the uh, clue or reference to it. Just tell me where they are. Hello, 
know, sailor. Nice raft. Can I ride? Hey, no without a path. But I have a pass. Here you go. One official Vakalian transit pass. Good for 24 hours. I bet you are. Huh? The raft is yours for the day. Just hop on board and use it to sail anywhere within the Jerkbait Islands. Thanks. Smooth Isle. I said as place is over on Roe Island, so let's go ahead and check that out. See if there's any clues for Decava there. What a dump! Look at this place. It's completely uninhabitable. Uh, reminds me of my first apartment. Yep, that's Takaba, all right. This must be his place. Looks as if he hasn't been here in ages. Wonder what happened to him. This looks like plans for some kind of underwater device. Or perhaps shoes for wallabies. Takaba's journals. Poems I wrote while searching for a Sponja Grande. Wow, 36 volumes. Looks like he was searching for a long time. The Path of the Mouth. Okay. The Path of the Mouth. Okay. Hey, neat. It's a mounted singing manatee toy. Huh. Must be broken. Nice cans. Oh, God. Oh, it's covered in seagull droppings. I hope it got that way after he left this place. This looks like plans for some... Oh, that's... sweet. Musk at Dusk. How to Match the Perfect Couple. A Complete Guide to Animal Matchmaking. I think I'm learning way too much about this Dekava guy. It's a toy manatee with a hole in the middle. all big and warped. Other than that, this was entirely pointless. <laughs> Man, look at all these empty grog bottles. I'm sure he was just collecting these for recycling. Yep, it's stuff. here. Junky. Alright, I guess... Okay, Rafty, where should we go next? I guess that's all there is to that. For now, at least. Just give me the artifact so we can bury it and get out of here. Nope. But McGillicutty gave it to me. <coughs> I get to be the one who picks where to hide it. Sorry, I got it now. Will you at least look at me so we can work this out? <coughs> nope. I bet that's the seahorse artifact the Merleader was talking about. I wonder if they'll just let me have it. Come on, let me have it. Nope. One. Okay. I feel like I've thoroughly explored that. Hey guys, what's going on? None of your business. Now why don't you back away? You're stinking up the place. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, you don't smell so... <laughs> okay, this is awkward, but you guys smell amazing. Yes, it's the savory smell of thinly sliced potatoes. Fried crisp and golden with a touch of honey and a dash of salt. Hmm. <laughs> 
How I long to be back in the kitchen peeling my potatoes. Yeah, I long for that too. What are you guys arguing about? Oh, Captain McGillicutty ordered us to hide the summoning artifact we found far away from the Jerkbait Islands <coughs> until he was able to secure the rest of them. Only he won't give me the artifact back. <laughs> hey, shut your trap. I'm working here. Look, I'm sorry, Merkel, but McGillicuddy clearly gave the idol to me. It's my duty, so I want to make sure this gets done right. I want to be the one who decides where to bury it. Sorry, Killick, but if it meant that much to you, you shouldn't have left it sitting out in the open while you took a nap. And by He's out in the open, you mean placed a in a small box, wrapped in wool, and stuffed down my pants? Well, if you didn't want pirates rummaging through your trousers while you were sleeping, you should have said so. I've got it now. I'll decide where to bury it. Can I have that seahorse? You mean this seahorse that Captain McGillicutty gave us to hide until all the artifacts are found? Of course. In fact, why don't we just give you the treasure and then rip off our own arms so our captain don't have to? Beat it! You know, it's getting awfully late in the day. What time did McGillicuddy want this done by? Oh boy, he's right! I don't care who buries it! Let's just go! Come on, keep up! Hey! My raft! That's... rude. That was fast. Good and buried! Now we wait for McGillicuddy to pick us up. It's a pile of fallen trees. It's a pile of fallen trees. All right. That's all there is to it. Hey, you guys. I'm back. Oh, good. What are you guys still doing? Just biding our time till McGillicuddy sails round to pick us up. You know, I hear that nine times out of ten, the first place you bury your treasure is the spot where it'll most likely be found. What do you mean? Well, if you picked out that spot so easily, other pirates will probably pick that spot to go digging for treasure too. He's right. We need to bring the treasure back and think of somewhere else to hide it. Good thinking, Hooky. Come on, let me have it. Too late. I still got the artifact. Okay, so I can... There will come a time where I need to make them go bury it to help me find it, presumably. Oh, and we're back to a jungle sequence, like in the first game. it in there, I can use its voice to try to find it. Hey you guys, I'm back! Oh goody! Look! Defenseless babies with piles of gold! Ooh, where? 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 Hey! What are you doing? Trying to loot our treasure chest? Of course not. It's hard to loot a chest full of nothing. You just keep your hands off my chest. Not a problem. In fact, I can guarantee I won't be touching a single part of your body. There's nothing there! <laughs> Sorry, it was probably just a weather balloon. So the limit, no, did not let me put the... Yeah, alright. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh goody. Maybe there's a fair way to determine who gets to bury the artifact. Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah? Well, what do you suggest? Uh, 
How about a breath holding contest? First one to breathe for air loses. I like where you're going with that, but no. With me asthma, it wouldn't be a fair contest. Well, then I win by default. No, because I still got the seahorse. That makes you a loser by default. Sound, sound logic. Sound, sound logic. Maybe you guys should try cooperating again. Fine. Got any more bright ideas? Why don't you do it together? What do you mean? You know, both of you hold one end of the artifact and place it in the chest together. Then you can both set out together and both dig and bury the treasure. No! We ain't doing this all sweetheart-like! What, would you have us hold hands and skip along the beach, too? <laughs> sure! I ain't holding his hand! I've seen where it's been! Ain't gonna happen! I'll just do this myself! Well, I think I've taken up enough of your time. Good luck with the treasure and all. <laughs> Come on, let me have it! Nope! Let me have that seahorse. Quiet, I'm thinking. You know I can see you reaching for our chest. I'm staring right at it. Sorry. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh. Look behind you! A three-headed golden seahorse! Ooh, where? Hey! Get your grubby mitts away from our chest! But it's empty. And sorry, I'm just fascinated by your chest. Excuse me? Do I have to get out the pirate harassment handbook? Maybe I'll just leave you alone. Oh, I must have missed it. Too bad. It was glorious. Okay. Is that Chuck up there? Probably is. I if I can figure out how to get to him. Fishing well. Fishing well? They probably meant wishing well. I'm sure it's just a typo. <gasps> Free bait. Good for one order of fish eggs. Hey! Coupon valid at most participating jerkbait island locations. I got my uh, coupon. And there's a kitty cat down here. Oh my goodness, kitty cat. Okay, so there's not a lot to wander around. There's no actual fort. Just more Vakalian ruins. This looks like some kind of old furnace, or maybe a barbecue. Interesting. Oh, I'm getting my legs licked by a cat is a very unnerving experience. The clam has almost grown feet. The Chuck! Guybrush, oh, thank goodness you're safe. Elaine and I were so worried. Forget it, LeChuck. You may have somehow fooled my wife with your voodoo trickery, but not me. But it's true. Thanks to you, I I'm a new man. Completely voodoo free. And I have good news, Guybrush. I have found one of the Mer people summoning artifacts. I just need a little help actually getting it. What's your game, LeChuck? Lure me into a false sense of security with kind words and sandwiches and then murder me in my sleep? My boy, if I wanted to murder you, I'd just throw you off this cliff. Why wait for you to sleep? How reassuring. I completely trust you now. Great! We'll put the past in the past and agree to work together for a change. Alright, so... That was one of the clamshells in the previous island. Guybrush, please stop. 
I'm trying to figure this thing out. But all you have to do is... No, 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 no. I can figure it out on my own. Suit yourself. Hi, kitty cat. Free bait. Large oysters. Tasty. For the fish, I mean. I try not to eat bait anymore. Hi, kitty kitty. Let's see... Hmm, it looks like it opens somehow. I wonder if there's anything inside. No dice. There must be some trick to opening it. Like getting rid of the chuck so that I can... Interesting. Why is that perspective? Hi, kitty cat. Oh, oh, can't leave my hand alone. <laughs> I need that for my mouse. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I need you to get down, kitty kitty. Can you get down, please? Can you get down? Or at least stop putting your ha head on my mouse hand? Here. You can lay down there. Thank you. You are a very sweet, sweet cat. I could do this all day, but until the Chuck gets another key for the other clamshell lock, this is useless. Stop, please. You're a very sweet, loving cat, Nightshade. Thank you for being a nice kitty. Well, let's at least go back to Spinner K and see about getting the the bait. Numbly? Hello again, sailor. Please stop saying that. What'll it be? I'd like some bait, please. Sure. You got your coupon? Yes, I do. Great, hand it over. I'd like some bait, please. Fish eggs. Sure, here you go. Thanks. No problem. I just made them myself. You did what? <laughs> Relax. I'm just yanking your tail. You're adorable when you squirm. Alright. Let's see. Get some oysters while we're here. I'd like some oysters, please. Oh, you're lucky. We only have one left. And it's a doozy. You know, some people refer to the oyster as the love muscle. Really? Maybe that's just to boost its self-esteem. This thing's as ugly as a pile of seagull droppings. I wonder if I can pry it open with my hook hand. Look at that. Let me just crack this sucker open here. Hey, look, a pearl! A big pearl! Probably... First thing I need for building another one of these for the chuck. Okay. Hmm. You shall never have them. Let's forget about the artifacts for a moment. The artifacts are sacred. I will not let them fall into the wrong hands. Looking for a ride? Hi, a lemonade. Hello. I'd like some bait. Well, aren't you an eager fisherman? But I don't have any bait down here. See me at the shop. 
I gotta run. Good. None taken. There we go. Let's hop on the raft. I feel like there's something about the uh, manatee. a better way to... No way am I doing... So maybe... Kevin's is just staring at my hand. Contemplating calling me in order to be able to get me to pet her. is. Exactly what are you trying to, to do here? Get something I have surmised that the summoning artifact is somehow locked away within that structure. There has got to be a way to activate it so that we can actually retrieve it. No problem. All we need is another... No, no. No, don't tell me. I need to learn how to do this on my own. If I am going to prove to you that I am on your side, I need to be able to face challenges the same way you do, instead of threatening to cut off your head when I don't get my way. Fine, I'll let you try to figure out how to unlock the artifact, but I will be the one to actually take it. Fantastic! So, like I said, don't tell me how to do this. I'm sure I can figure this out on my own. So, how much longer do you think? Oh, I'm so close. I can feel it. I'm just not so good with this whole puzzle-solving thing. It was so much easier to just kill people until someone did things for you. Maybe you could just give me a hint? Okay, well, try this. What are you carrying with you? Hmm, well, let's see. I have some breath mints and this thing. It looks just like the thing you used in that clamshell, but mine seems to be broken. Oh, ah! I think I've got it now! Oh, wait, no. That won't work. Hmm. Okay, so he has a stick. I just need to give him a pearl, and then he should be able to put it together and call it good. Maybe you should just let me have whatever you're carrying and let me do this. No, Guybrush, I insist. I must learn to do these things for myself. Use? Hmm. Use what? Law thingy. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm at a loss. All right. So can I give him the pearl? Here, you might need this. Of course. This thing. Yes. Figured okay. Out yet? So now I can probably tell him to use yet. the uh, claw thing. But I with think the pearl. I'm really close. You look like you're still struggling. You need some more help? Maybe just a little? Okay, well, try this. 
use. Uh huh. Law thingy. No, no. I got it. Hmm. Use with the pearl. Ha ha! It fits perfectly. Yep. You now have yourself a fully functional murky. See? That wasn't too hard, was it? No, not at all. So now what? Ah, oh, brother. Okay, well, try this. Use. Right. Merfolk key. Hmm. Use it with what? Clamshell lock. It's working, Guybrush! Of course! Now, I'll just use my key over- Wait! I think I figured it out! Now that I've got my key in place, you can go use yours in the <laughs> other clamshell! Yeah, smart thinking. Alright. Oh, will you look at that? I knew the summoning artifact would be here. Let's go get it! Whoa, hey, I will be the one to get it, remember? That was our deal. You, wait here. Yes, of course. I've got your back. That's exactly what I'm afraid of, but thank you. Hmm, looks like someone else tried to pry the artifact out of here with no luck. Need some help? Yeah, nope, I got it. It's just really stuck. <laughs> it's because of those little hooks there. Can I... So this is what all the fuss is about. Hmm, I'm not getting it out of there that way. looks all big and warped. Other than that, this was entirely pointless. Okay, so I'm guessing that somehow I need to shove it off the edge of the cliff to try to get the break. Why don't you just let me do it? I'm not saying I'm stronger than you, but... You know what? Fine. Lechuk, you fix it. I can't get that turtle artifact out of there. Any ideas? Why not just let me do it? Elaine seems to think I have the strength of ten men. In fact, when I get Yeah, back... yeah, forget it. I'll do it myself. No! If you did anything to hurt Elaine while I was gone, I swear I'll... The only thing I did to Elaine was to pull her from the freezing water along with a bunch of wet screaming monkeys. Actually, that kind of sounds like our honeymoon. So, you say you're human now, huh? Well, let's just see what happens when I pull off your mask! Ouch! Guybrush, stop that! Huh. Okay. Maybe you are human. I still don't like you. Be that as it may, we still must work together to retrieve this summoning artifact. I can't get that turtle artifact out of there. Any ideas? Why not just let me- Yeah, yeah, forget it. I'll do it. More clamshell locks. I remember these things from Flotsam Island. Well, I think... We'll leave it there. Uh, yeah. Struggling to figure out what I'm supposed to do there. But, um, I'm definitely going to be... Let's see, there we go. Um, picking this up next Monday. 
Uh, Wednesday again is going to be at 7.30 p.m. is going to be the new to me game Wednesday. So still not sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, I've got some ideas. We'll see. Keep keep my options open for me, uh, for myself. Uh, until then, I hope you've enjoyed the game. Thank you for tuning in, and have a good night.